Guys, every video is crafted with tons of efforts. If you end up liking this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to support individual creators like me. What's up guys, Tekshan here back with another amazing cool check episode. What all did I buy in the recent sale? Well, first product that I bought is the Flipkart Smart by V8 wireless mouse. What? A mouse? Oh no! Wait until you see it. Boomba, check this out, the V8 designer mouse. This is an amazing 1600 dpi wireless mouse with very different looks. Maybe unlike anything that you have seen, isn't it? What I have is the blue color with this nice doodle style design on it. I guess it's a fox. You also get green, pink and grey with different designs. Choose as per your liking. But I love this blue color. Then you get the nano receiver and a battery. This works on both Windows and Mac computers. The best part is it is a super silent mouse. So when you click, it's almost noiseless. Take my word, you will be surprised when you use it. Also super comfortable. The ball type scroll wheel is a breeze to use. I grabbed it for around Rs 450 in the recent sale and trust me, it's worth every penny. Will definitely make heads turn when it's on your desk and also can be an excellent gift to someone. Wanna grab it? We'll leave the best bell link in the description, check it out. Alright, second product that I bought is the all new Realme Pad. This is a budget friendly Android tablet that is good for multimedia use, casual gaming and of course work. And here it is, ooh la la, this is a super slim tablet guys and trust me, build is good for what you pay and yeah, gives you the iPad Air wipes. Who doesn't like fruits? What I have is the 4GB RAM with 64GB storage model which also comes with LTE support. Meaning you can use any SIM card, even Geo directly on this to make calls and access internet. Handy for people who are on the go. And hey, guess what? You can use two SIM cards or one SIM and a microSD card to expand storage. Nice! Alright, why did I choose this and what are the highlights? First, well in the below 20k range, this is a good option to consider over some Samsung and Lenovo tabs, given what it offers. The next would be the display. You get a large 10.4 inches IPS LCD display. Resolution is 1200 into 2000 pixels with 224 ppi pixel density. Good color reproduction. Just grab this tablet if you plan to use it for multimedia consumption because it also supports Widevine L1. So enjoying your favorite content in HD from popular streaming apps, yes, you can do that. Speaking of which, the third highlight is its Quad Dolby Atmos speakers. And I was totally surprised with the audio quality. Definitely impressive. You also get a 3.5mm audio slot for headphones. Next, the fourth would be the performance in software. What you get is a Helio G80 gaming chip inside with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. It is Android 11 with Realme UI close to plain stock Android with no bloatware. Nice! It's kind of familiar like a phone blown big. You can make normal phone calls. You have dual mics with noise cancellation. Well, the G80 is a budget gaming chip and is a capable chip. The UI was smooth with very minor stutters, is not of a big concern, at least in the 4GB model. Be it browsing, WhatsApp, social media, multimedia consumption, online calls, watching videos, this will totally satisfy you. On the gaming, don't expect it to do very intense gaming, still, definitely you can game well on this. In my test, BGMI, you can play in low settings smoothly. Titles like Asphalt 9 in high settings ran well, and casual games like Temple Run 2, or my super game, Sean's Treasure Hunt, was a breeze to play. I'm glad that I optimized my game for tablets in my previous update and it is a delight. Love playing it. If you guys haven't tried it yet, go try it. Next would be the camera. The 8 megapixel front and back sensor is good, be it for online video calls, classes or casual photos and videos. You can shoot up to 1080p. Here are some samples. Next would be the 7100mAh battery. You can get close to 1.5 days on casual use and close to a day with good use. A cool thing is you get a 18W fast charger bundled in the box. Nice! And finally the sensors. You get accelerometer, gyro and proximity. All basic sensors are accounted for. Supports dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5 as well. Well, if you ask me anything to crib, 
As of now, the 4GB RAM variant is only available for LTE model. Realme should have launched a Wi-Fi model as well with 4GB RAM because I would suggest you to pick at least the 4GB model if you plan to use the tab heavily. But if it's just for multimedia consumption and casual use, then the 3GB would do. Choose wisely. Apart from that, when you push the tablet hard with continuous gaming, you do feel a bit of warmness at the back. Anyways, here is a look at the technical specifications. With this tablet, I also grabbed a tempered glass, a basic silicon case, and a stylus for Rs. 300 each. Gets the job done for basic protection and taking notes. Overall, I grabbed it for around Rs. 15,900 after bank offers during the sale. If you are considering a tablet in this range, grab it and you won't be disappointed. We'll leave the Best Buy link in the description, check it out. Alright, third product that I bought is something very useful. Meet the Tuxa Turbo U2, a hotspot data device that can help you access internet anywhere, anytime, hassle-free. Handy for those living in outskirts or want internet access, on the move during travel, etc. Tuxa is a well-known brand and I've covered many products from them previously. Alright, so here is the Turbo U2, pretty slim form factor. To the top, you have an on-off button with three indicators, signal, Wi-Fi and battery indicator. Speaking of which, it has a 2100mAh removable battery, so yes, no need for a continuous power source. Single charge can get you about 6 hours of backup. Nice! Okay, let me show you how to use it. Open the back cover and pop in a SIM card. If you have a nano SIM, you get an adapter in the box. The highlight which makes it stand apart is that you can use any network SIM in this, be it Atel, Geo, Vodafone and say even BSNL. So switching to any network anytime is easy. Just make sure you have a data plan enabled on the SIM you use. I'm using a Geo SIM here. Don't forget to remove the protection tape in the battery and then fix it. Close it and turn on. Now in your laptop, desktop, mobile, tablet, whatever. Open Wi-Fi and you will see the default Wi-Fi of the Turbo U2. Connect to that with the password in the manual. That's it. Now you can access internet. Cool, right? Wasn't that easy? Do note guys, speeds depend totally on your network, location and other factors. Make sure to choose a good SIM card that has good connectivity in your area. You can also change the Wi-Fi hotspot name and password from the web management page by accessing the IP in the manual. Another highlight is that you can connect up to 10 devices at once. Yep, that's right, 10 devices. Boom! Now connect your laptop, phone, tablet, desktop, whatever, all at once. So everyone in the family can access internet via the single device. Handy during online classes, work from home situation, shops and even for those who still don't have a broadband internet line. Now some might be ignorant and ask why can't we use hotspot for mobile and access internet on other devices. Well mobile hotspot is not always reliable and on top it drains your battery and heats up the phone which can lead to a lot of problems. But this is a dedicated hotspot device that works with any sim card that has data enabled for you to access internet on up to 10 devices. Pretty compact and handy to carry around as well. All hail the compact king. Exclusive Texan comparison time. Well, if I have to say, the size of the Tuxa Turbo U2 is approximately in the size of a 5 rupees Horlicks packet. What? Yep, crazy but true. Another exclusive Texan comparison. Overall, I grabbed it for around rupees 2250 in the recent sale, and it's worth it. Access internet on the go. Use cases are many. Want to grab one? We'll leave the Bell link in the description. Check it out. Alright, fourth product that I bought is again something handy on the desk. Meet the Tuxa Monitor Stand Riser. What is this? Bam! Here it is. This is an amazing multi-use stand that you can use to place your computer monitor at an optimal height on your desk, which will in turn reduce eye strain, neck pain and help you work smarter. Apart from being just a stand, this has many features that will come in super handy on your desk. We'll show you. Before that, build is excellent, super solid, made of ABS, this can fit in max 27 inches monitor and BAM! You have side folded legs that will give you a bigger area when unfolded. Depending on your table and space, you can use it either folded or unfolded. Cool, right? Not only that, you also get RGB lighting around that spices up your desk, we'll show you. And boom bar, here it is, all set up on my desk. How cool is that? I have placed a 22 inch monitor on it. Like I said, you can go up to 27 inches. Okay, now to the features. First would be, yes as said, this is a monitor stand that raises your monitor to an eye level, reducing eye and neck pain when you work on the computer for long hours. Next, you have a storage drawer here in which you can store pens, notes, whatever. That'll come in super handy. And the third would be, pull here and bam, pops out a mobile stand. Handy to dock your mobile. 
And the fourth, you have four USB 2 slots which you can use as a USB hub to connect pen drives, memory card readers, phones, whatever. Cool, right? The fifth major highlight is the RGB lighting on both sides. You have seven different modes that you can control with this button. Gives you a cool look, especially gamers, you will love it. You can even turn it off if needed. And the final use case, below the stand you have space that you can use to store books etc. Handy to organize your space. Like I said, you can use it both unfolded and folded depending on your space. A handy one to have on your desk and trust me, helps those who spend long hours in front of the computer. Apart from a monitor, you can also use your laptop with it. Cool, right? I grabbed this multi-use monitor stand for Rs 2200 in the recent sale. Definitely worth it, can be an excellent gift as well to someone. Want to grab it? We'll leave the best bell link in the description, check it out. Alright, fifth product that I bought is for the kitchen. Not mine, but for someone known. Check out the Orient Sound 50 Watt Budget Mixi. Well, this is a budget mixi that will be more than enough for a small family. And bam, here it is. Orient as you know is a popular brand in fans, lighting and other appliances. You get the main unit which looks heavy and solid. Comes with a Sound 50 Watt copper motor. It is powerful enough so that you can also prepare idli dosa batter with this. Coming to the jars, you get 3 jars and a spatula, usual sizes, large, medium and small, which can be used for different purposes. The bill looks good for what you pay. You know what all this is, I don't have to go in depth. Only thing I notice is that the big jar lid in the photo of the box has a locking mechanism but this has a normal lid. Confirm with them and looks like it is a mistake in the packaging. This model comes without the lock. Anyways, I grabbed it for Rs 2299 in the sale. Comes with 5 years warranty on the motor. This is a no bells and whistles good budget mixi to consider for your kitchen in case your needs are not much and as said this is suited for a small family. Want to grab one? We'll leave the whisper link in the description, check it out. Phew, so that's it for this episode featuring some products that I bought in the sale. What did you guys buy? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to buy any of the products featured in this video, best bell links are in the description, check it out. Once the sale is over, price might fluctuate plus or minus time to time, it's not in my control guys. So please understand. Like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in another exciting video. Until then.